Hello, podcast world. It's 7 26, 2020. It's July 26, 2020, 3 57 p.m. And I just want you to know that I really want to start off by saying failure is not an option. I repeat, failure is not an option. And the next thing I also want to say is depression is real. And during these times of the pandemic of the coronavirus and um, not knowing what's going on or what's going to happen, and this has probably been one of the worst years in a long time, probably one of the worst years ever for some people in their lifetime, considering that um, just how things have been going. A lot of lives have been lost, and uh, you just... You know, jobs been lost, and um, you know it's it's not easy going through all of this situation alone. Like it's horrible, and the worst thing about it is there's the whole social distancing. Like nobody wants to be sitting around alone, going through this alone, and I don't. I don't feel like I'm the only one out there. So I know that there's other people out there that are probably feeling more lonelier than they've ever felt in their lifetime. <clears throat> like, I just want you to know that you are not alone, that there are others out there dealing with the same issues, the same anxieties, the same um, depression or whatever. And I just want you to feel that it's going to be okay. Like, I know it's summertime and I feel like the government has lied to us the whole, every step of the way that they were like, oh, by the time the summer hits and the, and the weather changes, it would all be gone and things would be better by now and and now you just don't know what to believe and you don't know if the coronavirus is ever going to go away it seems like <clears throat> well I just want you to know that it's always darkest before the dawn it's, it's worth holding on to to see tomorrow because they say that the sun will come out tomorrow. So, sunny days ahead. Like, we might be in the midst of a storm right now, but I promise you, things are going to get better. And you can't give up. You just can't. And, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of television. Um... You can probably call it soapbox drama, action drama, soapbox. It's all the same uh, situation. I right now I'm kind of going through. Uh, I'm binge watching the Chicago shows, which I started off. Um, well, I guess it was like back in June, I think, watching Chicago PD, and now I'm uh, running through. <sighs> Chicago Fire, I'm on season 7 at the moment, and um, in the next couple of days, I'll be over, uh, done with season 7 for sure, and on to season 8, and you know, and just, it's, it's so much that happens, like these shows can see you on, <clears throat> see you on a emotional roller coaster ride, like, you never know what's going to happen next. You never know uh, who's going to die or who's going to survive or who's going to, you know, fall in love. And these are some pretty intense feelings. I just want you to understand that the same thing happens in our everyday lives. Like, you never know what's going to happen next. You never know who it's going to happen to. Hopefully, 
you understand that failure is not an option. That there is you do have support. So if uh But if if it's too much for you, failure is not an option. You need to reach out. You need to call someone. You need to talk to someone. Don't let go. You need to make a decision. You need a breath of fresh air. All right. It's hard to stay cooped up in the house. It's hard to... Ugh, it's hard to go through losses, financial, relationship, um, whatever the case may be. It's all something that can change your life. Now, on the road going forward, and we're all praying for, we're all hoping for the best. What can you do? To set your mind at ease. What do you have? What's your next level? What's the next thing that you can do to make you feel better about yourself? I live alone. And a lot of people do. And that road, walking that road by yourself being home alone by yourself all the time it gets lonely and I know how you feel Um, it's always hard to get company to come around uh, just depending on how you live I you you want more out of life cause I know I do I want you to feel that there's definitely someone out there for you that they're they're there for you. Like, I try to put positive energy out there in the world. I do my best. And with all of that being the case, you just just don't know what what it's going to feel like when it's all gone, when it's all over. Or... You know, when things change, they tend to change you. It's hard to walk that true north for your country to be true north or whatever. It's hard for that to be the case. Like, you never know what you're going to get out of the situation. I understand that this isn't for everyone. This feeling, this loneliness... No one should be alone in a time of need. Like, check on your loved ones. It doesn't matter if they're old or young or whatever the case might be. Like, let them know that you care about them, you love them, that you have feelings, that you're there for them anytime they need you. That is what they want. That's what they need. And failure is not an option you come into this you stay on task you know that the mission at hand is all you have to worry about Um, being the best you being a better you that's all you can do these days nobody wants to see you fall through the gaps of reality Nobody wants to deal with anything that is a slippery slope. They want you to come out to be elite, to be the best you. They want you to do whatever it takes. Now, if you can't, there's no such thing as can't. So all you have to do is make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everyone out there who's ever listened to my podcast. 
I appreciate everyone out there who tunes in and is, you know, decided that every time that uh, they hear, they see my podcast pop up, that they want to check me out. I appreciate that. I appreciate uh, the guys here at Anchor um, for ultimately helping me. And then who else? Uh, Poison Ivy. Uh, I don't know. It's just so much. (laughs) So much that you can be doing or dealing with. Uh, Shout out to all of my friends who are gamers. And that might be the way that you're dealing with it right now. I understand that too. Shout out to... Shout out to everyone right now. Everybody that's maintaining a good social distance. Everybody that's going through social distancing. Everybody. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? So. You just never know where you're going to end up. Um, It's not easy to talk about. Failure not being an option and depression being real and you know, holding on and, you know, the bad thoughts that come along with depression and, and like I say, it's it's not the easiest thing to do. I, normally, I feel like you just, you just don't know. So, at the end of the day, well, go try something different. Maybe. You don't really... You don't want to fall through the gaps. Maybe a good movie. some Something to make you feel good. Something to make you laugh. Something to make you happy. What makes you happy? I... <sighs> I don't know, man. I guess. So, with all that being the case, I just want you to know that you are not alone. Failure is not an option. Depression is real. And we're going to make it through to the next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, check out Anchor. If you're interested in doing a podcast, uh, they got everything for you. If you are interested in anything else, check out my description down below. Um, Plenty of things to click on. A lot of opportunity. Um, Some merchandise, probably. Uh, Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And until next time. Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.